Welcome back everybody, into this update, we are going to find out what the mentioned terrible secret is. <laughs> so this is what the game meant by that you have to fight your fears and survive. Oh yeah, I... Originally I kind of wanted to start each update with one of those little sentences, but the game kept giving me the same one every time I loaded before. Okay. I think there's like, I think there's like three or four, and... It's, it's not that... Great. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going into the mine beneath the mansion instead of the mine beneath the residence. Well, not exactly. I mean, a couple of corridors are mine looking, but it's, it's gonna be different. It's so gonna you, be interesting. So you could say this place is really mindless. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Jill. You're alive. I love what Jill does here. I was worried, because I thought you were... Whoa! <laughs> Ninja! Start talking. I think that's the most awesome Calm thing Jill does all game. Me, yeah. <laughs> Don't lie to me! Wait, how did this thing get here? It was in the other mine earlier. <laughs> nah, it just ah! to go for walks. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. So we have a choice here. Uh, I don't really trust Barry right now. I don't yeah. think that's a good idea. Yeah, we can do this ourselves. I can't do that. Okay. Jill, Jill come on. At least try to shoot the monster. Okay, so this is a boss fight. Uh, okay. We have to fight this thing now instead of uh, running away from it all the time. The thing is, it's still invulnerable. We can't actually kill it. Uh, but as you can see, the trick is to make it fall in the pit. Oh. Uh, a couple shots from the shotgun to <laughs> make it uh, to push it, and then the magnum just Barry's magnum just does it fine. You can use other weapons, but Barry's Magnum just is it's there, so we might as well use it. Yeah, I guess. Fun fact about Barry's Magnum, uh it's it I think it's the most powerful weapon in the game. It's more powerful than your Magnum, but like the normal Magnum ammo that you find will not work in this gun. So when you find it, you basically have six bullets for it and that's it. Oh great. Also, Barry had daughters and the blood thickens or something. I don't know. This is a clue for the puzzle you have to do in this room. But, let's see what happens if you let Barry take his gun back. Oh, that he gets. You're just gonna get shot. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! You, you're so untrustworthy. <laughs> I was really Even you don't want to do it. Thanks, Jill. Nah, Barry isn't that girl. So now, you can fight this thing, but you have Barry to help you. And there's actually a way to fight this thing without using any ammo. Barry, what are you doing? <laughs> Barry, would you please shoot I'm it? helping! He's dancing, is what he's doing. Right, the, the way you solve this puzzle is just to push all these things in the pit. Uh, oh. And then... To, no, no, that never happened. <laughs> Okay. Nope. Basically, you were taking damage to save time. Oh, thank you. good job. Uh, Why is he trying? Think... Is he trying to kill us or the monster now? I don't know. I don't I th trust I think... that hate. I think that's the only death I'll live in this game because it surprised me. I did not know it could push you in the pit. <laughs> oh hey, the, the game subtitled that for me. I don't have to do that. Okay? Yes. This will all make sense. Thanks. Now I can shoot you in the head. I don't believe that thing's really dead. 
Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Jill, Jill. Oh my just god. Just forget about the whole betrayal thing. <laughs> For fuck's sake, do you have, does she have the memory of a lemon or <laughs> I d I didn't know lemons had memories. Uh, me neither. Right. <laughs> so in in the tomb you find a letter from um um what's his name? The guy who designed the mansion. I can't remember all uh, of his names. Yeah, Tre Spencer or something. Tre no, Tre Spence Spencer is the owner. Trevor uh. is the guy who designed it. And that's a letter from his wife. And the monster called it Mum. Oh. So essentially the whack you on the face monster was the daughter of the thing or something, it's something. It was the daughter of Trevor, the guy who designed the mansion. Uh oh. And obviously she got transformed into a monster by experiments. Or something. Ooh, 60 FPS elevator sequence. Yeah, this is a high quality LP. Yes. Oh, hey. So here you find a wolf shaped depression. Hey, look at that. Those uh, emblems magically appeared in our inventory. Uh, okay. <laughs> because of the magic of editing. Oh, okay, so you forgot them once again. Okay. So that's like the depth of the puzzles from now on in the game. Actually, there's a couple puzzle that gets slightly more... I'm not gonna say clever, but they do require actually thinking about them. Okay. There's a couple. Yeah, because I don't know, I wasn't really having high expectations after this uh, class puzzle. Nah, it's fine. Alright. So, yeah, the subterranean passage is- Oops! Oh, hold, hold on. I gotta- I gotta change the disc. <laughs> Alright, this okay, is the button you have to that. push. Okay, there we go, that should load soon. <laughs> Please tell me this is why that was the waiting before the... <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I just had to change the disc, you know, that's that's a, that's a GameCube game that had two discs, because they could not fit the whole game on one, because GameCube discs are like small DVDs. Uh-oh. Uh, Jill, I can read the sign, it's okay. WILL NOT OPEN UNLESS IN FIRST CLASS EMERGENCY! That's, that sounds kind of an awkward way to say that. I guess they just ran out of space or something. No, I'm thinking like that's like a little bit of English, but because uh, like I'm assuming in the Japanese version it was subtitled because the in case the Japanese audience wouldn't be able to read that. But yeah, in the yes. English translation, they could not translate it into something different because that would look dumb. Yeah. I don't know, I'm making assumptions. Alright. So, um, can you guess what's gonna make a comeback here? Zombies! Yeah, our good old friends, the normal zombies. Yep, so it's time to bust out the handgun, the fuel, and the lighter. Yeah, because we're gonna burn a bunch of cadavers. And I have extra fuel for, for this thing, because I managed to bring some from outside. I got some from my outside source. There's more than enough fuel to burn all the zombies in this game, but... Oh yeah, there's more fuel here. Yeah, there's like four charges in that little thing. Oh, nice. Is it me or are they slightly faster? I don't know. After all... I feel like, I feel like this one is kind of, like slightly faster. Okay, this one is dead. I love uh, shooting blind. 
It's my favorite thing in this game. Yeah, you were shooting blind alongside with your reflection in the water to help you. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say, shouldn't I, you wait until you're more. able to see them? <laughs> yeah, I shot the roof and that worked. <laughs> How did that connect? It's, it's like, it's a thing I don't really show because it doesn't really work, but when you aim up, you're supposedly, um, aim close to the head, and supposedly it has more chances of doing a critical head, but I don't, I don't, I think that was more a thing in the original. I don't think it really works in this one. Oh. I'm on top of the zombies game, come on. Yep, that killed a zombie. Just bear oh with man, me. Oh man, I just, I just realized I'm gonna have to tag this video and not say for work. I'll come. I don't think I can tell you yet. Oh, okay. So Probably yeah. Probably not for the reasons you're thinking. Okay, so essentially it's like the first half of Resident Evil was like, oh hey, I could let my hate year holds look at this, but here, this is where it, things get grim. I... I don't know that I would let the net year old play Resident Evil. <laughs> no. I mean, it's not like it's the most, the, the most horrible horror game in terms of gross, but... No, I would not let an eight-year-old play yeah. that. Yeah. See, the thing is, I would not let a, an eight-year-old play uh, Alone in the Dark. Well, truth be told, back in the time... Oh, hell yes. Uh, maybe that's just the sort of person I am. But, truth be told, for the time it was pretty scary. I mean, nowadays it's not really that scary anymore, but... Before then... Alone in the... In Along the dark scared the fuck out of me, I don't know. Yeah, like, when the game just came out and all of this, uh, I kinda was startled by the... the opening monster that jumped out of the window to attack you, but I don't know. I, I just think it's one of these games that didn't really age too well. I think the, the thing that scared me the most in Alone in the Dark is when you open... uh... the... the door... The, the entrance door oh, yeah. to and get out of the mansion. It's just this thing that sucks you. Yep. It's like, what is that? That freaked me out. Yeah, and it's never really explained what it is. Oh, I hope you like files, because this video has a lot of files. Oh, okay, so I guess this is why the file size was low or something, because, hey, we've got a lot of still images. Uh, yeah, so they're explaining that when you kill the zombies, but you let them on the ground, apparently the the virus uh, transforms them and makes them stronger and faster, and that's why they come back. And they call them crimson uh, crimson heads. Oh. <laughs> and the first one the first one they made is the is the one they put um, in the mansion in that coffin. Oh. For for a second, when you, whenever you were talking about crimson, I thought you were talking about that paint color. No. Uh, now we're yes. gonna paint the zombie with a small touch of crimson yellow. Well, it's just okay. Oh boy. Um. Oh, computer. You know, you know when I have to guess a login and a password. What, what's the third, the first thing you try? Admin and something else. I usually try admin admin. Or admin test. <laughs> uh, let's see if um, uh, Umbrella Corporation has good uh, uh, security. Well, I guess they do. Uh -oh. Honestly, when I saw the login screen uh, doing accessing, I really thought for a second that was the case. Yeah, I don't know why it needs to load something to check a password. I don't know, maybe back when this game was made, that was still back in the time when whenever you'd use a debit card, you needed to wait like 30 seconds in order to see if your pin was right or not. 
Maybe. I don't remember... Man, I don't remember when this came out now. Just, I, like, I want to say 2002 or 3, but I don't know. Um, well, it's a GameCube game, and I don't know, GameCube was more like... Yeah, 2002 probably sounds right, or 2003. I sound like a dumbass, like I'm LPing this game and I don't even know that. So, when did this game came out? Well, I don't know, maybe it came out in 2002 and 3. You know, I bet I bet I wrote that in the OP and I just forgot, because <laughs> I just wrote the OP by looking at Wikipedia. Yeah, I'll write that. Yeah, speaking of this... Oh yeah, it was apparently made in 2002. Thank you. Oh, and in, in 2009 for the Wii. Well, yeah, but that's just... Ports. Okay. I'll okay. So we have we have an interesting puzzle here. There's a, a next ray of Ed Fisher. There's a next ray of Alex Beche. Can you see your pattern with those names? Uh... All right. Let's see this one. This one is an next ray of Clark David. David Clark. Now Clark David. Oh, I don't know. Still, still not seeing a pattern. Uh, well, probably the n first letters in the name? Yeah! Oh yeah, G-H. And there we have a little map of all the organs. Yeah, and it's telling us to put the initials in alphabetical <laughs> you order. You almost had a good puzzle here, then, then you put... Well, actually, that's only half the puzzle. Ah, okay. And I did not realize this. Uh, so there's gonna be a little part of the video that's gonna be edited out. The, because this is this is the part where I got confused at first. There's an organ that's glowing red on each. Oh. And obviously, the answer is... Can you figure it out? Uh... I... Hold on a bit. I'm gonna try to figure it out, but right now I'm kinda drawing a blank. This is the letter of a scientist who, I guess, got infected and left a message for someone. As far as I know, you're not infected. We've been bitten by several zombies. I'm not entirely sure how Resident Evil characters, um, protagonists, manage to resist that. Nah, it's part of their star's training. Oh, right. It's just... That's like the, the class that you have to undertake in the second semester. Oh. Okay, here you have the... You have some instructions oh, you, in order to yes. work out the puzzle. He tells you he left. That was for Ada, and yeah, Jill just repeats those names in case you forgot. Because <laughs> those are the names you're supposed to put as a login and a password in the uh, computer. Uh, okay. But yeah, you have... The, the first organ is a colon, the second is the esophagus, the third is the liver, and the fourth is the lungs. Oh boy. If you take the first letter of each of those, you get... A cookie! See? Yes, you, you get a cookie. Whee! I was hungry. No, you, you, get, you get the word cell, which is another password. Uh, um, okay. The thing is, the thing is, for some reason, I didn't click with that. I forgot this part of the puzzle. Oh. <laughs> so, um, there's gonna be some editing. Yeah, I thought for a second that maybe it was like a surgeon simulator type of deal where you just needed to uh, work out some random magic of operating someone's oh, man, bowels. That, that would have been so much more fun. <laughs> That's an idea for Resident Evil 7, come on, Capcom. This this idea is free, you don't have to pay me. <laughs> I don't know, it seems like a good idea, so they're probably not gonna do it. Alright, so we unlocked a room by doing this. A uh hope. -huh. Room that was in the other corridor. Behind the stairs. And this one requires the password that I just talked about, uh, which is okay. cell, and this is the part where I am, wait... <laughs> a nice password choice. <laughs> There's no match for your ass. So, right, I I just kind of flailed around, did things out of order. I could have opened it right now, but I didn't feel like re-recording this. 
Okay. <laughs> so we're, we're just gonna come back to open that password later. We're gonna take a look at that room. Alright. Okay. I also got confused as to which room was open, so oh. I tried them all. This is <laughs> me fumbling around the video. Well, truth be told, how many log doors are there? Yeah, a couple. Right, but the door we opened is the one on the other side of that corridor, this one. Ah, okay. And those red switches are something else. Are you ready for the, the most horrible sight? A zombie dong! Oh, god! <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm surprised Capcom bothered to do that. <laughs> now they were looking at all of the things that they did the best in the original game they were like, Oh, a zombie dick! Now it's time to use the abilities of the GameCube to the fullest. Well, I, yeah, I guess they could not have done that, because I mean it would have looked awful. Yeah. So this thing is for a puzzle that, well, not really a puzzle, more a gameplay challenge uh, that we'll see next uh, next video, not this one. But believe me, I know I say this a lot, but believe me when this is probably the stupidest gameplay challenge in the game. Oh boy. It is quite the stupid challenge. Yeah, it just seems like this is something that might end up not working really, really easily. Uh, careful, do not copyright this, uh, con the content of this fax. <laughs> Too late. I love that this fax is basically addressed to the scientists in the lab, telling them, uh, yeah, we need to clean that lab, but, like, they acknowledge that the virus has already spread in the lab and killed everyone, yet they send the fax to the lab. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, I think you're sending it to the wrong place. Nobody's gonna read it. These casualties except, like, underscore the success of war. <laughs> How is this successful? I, well, yeah, well, like, I suppose the success is that they made a zombie virus? Oh, oh why is there a GameCube here? <laughs> well, we're just gonna use this uh, GameCube disc on it, I suppose. Alright. If you remember, we found one of those discs behind the tiger statue. Oh. Uh, there are three of them, but two of them are in this area, and you can find them easily. The only one hidden is the one behind the tiger statue. Oh, yeah, that definitely was a while ago. A little one, yeah. Like two updates ago. And each of those, when you put them in the right um, place, they release one of those locks. Okay, and you need all three in order to open the door. Yes, when we find all three. Alright, let's cut to when I actually figure out the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, when you find all three of those, the door unlocks and you can find out what's in there. And what's fun is that it is optional! You do not have to go there to finish the game! Oh. It's like an extra surprise! Woo! So why also, is it yeah, that they... Have... Why is it that they put, are putting dongs inside their login screen? I, I think that's like a microscopic view of a bacteria or something. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever you say. Look, I think you have a weird picture of what dongs are. <laughs> well, it's a zombie dong. Uh, okay, psych. <laughs> <laughs> right, whatever. Uh, fine. Right. I don't. I just. Okay, let's see what we got. We unlocked the room that was upstairs that we haven't been to yet. So, you know, I've been wondering, when you're, um, like, an industry giant like Umbrella, who makes pharmaceuticals, how do you, how do you decide to make monsters? I just, to make, like, zombies and monsters. I just wonder, what exactly is, um, the, the planning comedy for the comedy for this. What what does the um what does the reunion look like? What do they talk about? How do they present this sort of projects? 
All right, we need a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> There's a weird phone thing. That's not actually a phone. That's a passcode terminal. Yeah, that sounds like one of those things where you just... Uh, one of those uh, security alarm terminals. Yeah. It's, you know, what What I would really like to see is what the PowerPoint presentation looked like for this sort of enterprise. <laughs> The first part of our plan will. Oh. Wait! Is this really in game? Um. Ragni, what have you done? This is the PowerPoint <laughs> presentation for a brand new enterprise where we'll make <laughs> zombie dogs and killer sharks and tyrant things and monsters. <laughs> oh my god, who is that on the right? Oh yeah, who is that? <laughs> Do you recognize him? I don't know, I don't recognize him for a second. It's been a while. It, and also it... I was too distracted by canyon.mid. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that's fine if you didn't recognize him. That'll make the, the, the following video funnier. So yeah, if you put the filter, like the last um, uh, slide, slide here's a password. You, get the, you get the code. All right. <laughs> I don't know, I thought that music was pretty fitting. <laughs> and now, by entering this code, Passport.mid will play. Um, so, you remember the very first update, uh, we found... The first zombie we found was munching on our comrade yeah. from Bravo Team. And then we picked up the video cassette of his camera. Oh. So that's, well, where, it, so that's where you can finally play it. It, it so happens that in this room there is a VHS, uh, VCR that we can use. Yeah, the only console. one that still exists in the world. Yeah. I don't know, I think my grandma may have the other one. <laughs> Mine kind of went to garbage bunch. a while ago. Oh! Oh jeez, this just spoiled Alan it. Alan Whisker, hello. Albert, Albert, his Albert. name is Albert! Well, I, I forgot his first name, but I remember what his other name is. It's, it's, it's our pal Wesker. What is he doing here? Why is he involved in this operation? So many questions. Ah. Well, it's a good thing that our pal Barry's here in order to make sure that... Right, so are you happen. are you ready to see what happened to him? This will explain everything. Oh god. <laughs> uh, me. Well, he's no. a good shot. Okay. <laughs> so that explained I... everything. Yeah, I guess. That's... <laughs> that's a stars member, all right. <laughs>